A truth table summarizes truth values for all combinations of truth values of components. In this video, we want to use truth tables to prove tautologies. Recall, tautologies are predicates that no matter the input variable, the value of the predicate will always be true. So let's look at some examples. Let's say we want to use a truth table to prove that P implies Q is equivalent to not Q implying not P. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a table that looks at all possible combinations of the truth values of the components, the basic components. There are two basic components here, P, Q. P could be true, false. Q could be true, false. So there are four possible combinations of trues and falses for P, Q. I'm going to create a truth table, a table, with four rows. And these rows are going to indicate all of the different combinations for the truth values of P, Q. To be organized, I'm going to let the first row have P true, second row P true, then false, and then false for the truth values of the basic component P. For the second basic component Q, I'm going to let it be true, false, true, false. In general, they're going to be 2 to the n, where n is the number of basic components, different rows in my truth table. In this case, 2 squared is 4. And if I want to be very organized about the way I write my, or create my truth table, the first column, I'm going to actually create half of the rows, the first half, I'll indicate them as true for the first component, and the last half false. And then it's going to be a quarter true, a quarter false, quarter true, quarter false, and so on. The next would have been an eighth true, eighth false, if there would have been more than eight different rows, and so on. You'll see another example in the next example. So the first column indicates the basic component P, next basic component Q, and now I'm going to create columns that are going to help me describe the truth value of the expression just by looking at piece at a time, subcomponents at a time. So I'm going to need to look eventually at the subcomponent P implying Q. I'm also going to need to look at not Q implying not P, but before I can evaluate this, I'm going to need to know what not Q is and what not P is. And then I will need to know not P implying, excuse me, not Q implying not P, that truth value. I'll compare P implying Q and not Q implying not P. And hopefully if it's a tautology, the truth value for each one of these combinations is going to be true. Well, let's check. P implying Q. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. But false implying true is true. False implying false is true. The only time an implication is false is if P is true and Q is false. So now not Q. Well, if Q is true, not Q is false. If it's false, not Q is true. If it's true, not Q is false. And if it's false, not Q is true. Now, not P. The first row would be false because not true is false. Not true is false. Not false is true. And not false is true. So I end up with the column false, false, true, true. Now looking at not Q implying not P, I have false implying false, which is true. True implying false, well that's not true, that's false. 
false implying true is true true implying true is also true so I'm now going to compare the two columns P implying Q and not Q implying not P and I end up with true being equivalent to true that's true false being equivalent to false that's true true being equivalent to true that's true true being equivalent to true that's true and so I have proven that in all cases P implying Q is equivalent to not Q implying not P. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to show that P or Q implying R is equivalent to P implying R and Q implying R. Well, let's check. That seems a little weird. Now we have three basic components. P, Q, and R. So I'll label three columns with, for the basic components. And now I'm going to, to end up needing 2 times 2 times 2, or 8 rows. The first four, I'll give the truth value true to, to P, and then false for the last four. And then I'll have true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false for the values for Q. And then R is going to be true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And that gives all the different unique combinations of the um, truth combinations for P, Q, and R. Now, I need to look at the less basic but still subcomponents for the entire expression I'll call E. I need to know what P or Q is going to be. Then I'll need to know the truth value of P or Q implying R. Then I'll need to know P implying R. I'll need to know Q implying R. I'll need to know P implying R and Q implying R. And then last, I'll need to know the truth value of our expression. Are these two equivalent? So let's look at P or Q. I have true or true is true, true or true is true, true or false is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, false or true is true, false or false is false, false or false is false. So the only time we have P or Q being false is if they're both false. Now let's look at P or Q implying R. True implying true is true, but true implying false, that's false. True implying true is true. I'm sorry. It should be this way. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. True implying true is true, true implying false is false, and then false implying anything is always true. So I end up with a column that looks like true, false, true, false, true, false, true, true. Let's now look at P implying R. Let's see. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. True implying True is true. True implying false is false. False implying anything is always true. And so I end up with true, false, true, false, and then the rest trues. Now we need to figure out Q implying R. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. 
False implying true is true. False implying false is true. True implying true is true. True implying false is false. False implying true is true. And false implying false is true. Now I need to look at the and. Well, in order for, for this two um, subcomponents joined by an and to be true, they both have to be true. So I have true and true is true. False and false is false. True and true is true. False and true is false. True and true is true. True and false is false. True and true is true. And true and true is true. Okay, now I'm at the last step. Are these two equivalent? So I look at the column P or Q implying R and compare it to P implies R and Q implies R. True and true, same truth value. So that's true. False, 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 and false is true. Excuse me. These are false equivalent to false is true. True equivalent to true is true. False equivalent to false is true. True equivalent to true is true. False equivalent to false is true. True equivalent to true is true. True equivalent to true is true. Yes, it is a tautology. So, one of the ways of proving tautologies is through truth tables. But you notice they're a little cumbersome. So we're going to learn other ways of proving equivalences. Next unit.